Captain J.S. Davidson was general manager of the Sirocco Works Belfast prior to joining the army at the outbreak of war. He'd been an active and energetic member of the 1st Battalion North Down Regiment Ulster Volunteer Force and was amongst the first to offer his services. He was then given a commission as 2nd Lieutenant in the 13th Battalion Royal Irish Rifles and shortly afterwards was promoted to captain. He proved a keen and able officer. His knowledge of practical engineering was quickly recognised and he was appointed to the machine gun company of the 108th Infantry Brigade, Ulster Division. Mr Jim was highly esteemed by all. This is his story. My dearest mother, I am afraid we are bound for a very bad part of the line. It is not where we were before, but of course one never really knows. Perhaps the good parts at present might be the worst before long. There have been all kinds of rumours going round. One was that the whole of the British forces in France were to be withdrawn and sent to Egypt, but personally I don't think there is any truth in this. My dear father, as you will have heard, we are now in the trenches. By day we only fire indirect fire, that is from positions concealed from the enemy. We have been having awful weather here, rain and storm. The trenches are in a terrible state. One sinks into the mud and almost sticks in it. Ever so many thanks for your dear kind letters about my engagement to Eileen. Yes, we have been such good chums and known each other so long that I feel sure we shall be very happy together when the time comes. Just wish I could see some possibility of getting away for a second leave soon. I fear it is very much in the dim distance. We are on the eve of big events, so you must not be alarmed if you don't have news for perhaps a week or even more. Fondest love to you all, your loving son, Jim. Jim and the Ulster Division were central to the Allied plans to break through the German lines at the Somme. On Saturday the 1st of July, the big push did not have the desired effect and German machine gunners slaughtered the British and French forces advancing across no man's land. 21,000 British troops were killed, 35,000 injured and 600 captured. Ulster was flooded with letters to their families at home. Jim Davidson on that day went across with the first and although getting casualties in his team, took the German first and second lines. With the help of a few men, they made a machine gun emplacement in the third line and although wounded, kept firing. One by one his men fell until he had no one but himself. And did he stop? No. Although shot through the leg, Jim continued operating his gun until he was out of ammunition. Unfortunately, while being carried back from the line, he was shot again and died. Some say if he had lived, he would have received the Victoria Cross. <laughs> 